Hello, fight fans. Thanks for joining us at MMA Insider. Before we get rolling with today's news, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing. Now let's uncover the latest happenings in MMA. Starting off, Dana White pleased with how UFC booked replacement fights for major events. Moving on, Javier Mendez wants Habib Nurmagomedov to improve cornerman work. Next, Michael Venompage plans to call out Kamaru Usman after finishing Ian Gary at UFC 303. Moving on, Hamzat Chimaev reacts to UFC on ABC6 withdrawal. Manager denies retirement rumors. Next, Michael Bisping questions if Conor McGregor fights again after UFC 303 withdrawal. Lastly, Israel Adesanya announces Dreykus Duplessis' fight at UFC 305. UFC CEO Dana White is happy with how the top MMA promotion handled a couple of key fight changes. The UFC was hit hard with the news that Conor McGregor was forced out of his planned June 29th bout against Michael Chandler at UFC 303. On top of that, the UFC brass needed to replace a violently ill Hamzat Chimaev for the UFC Saudi Arabia card. Taking his place will be Ikram Aliskarov, who will be taking on Robert Whitaker at the June 22nd event. Overall, the UFC boss is just rolling with the punches as best he can. During a chat with Sports Business Journal, Dana White discussed having to pivot once again with UFC 303 and UFC Saudi Arabia, both events taking place this month. The UFC boss is pleased with how the circumstances were handled. Here is what he said. You know what I mean? It's f days away. So for us to put in this guy, Ikram Aliskarov, who is 15-1, he's Muslim, and his only loss is to Hamzat Chimaev. And everyone in the division said no to fighting him except Robert Whitaker. I'm very happy with the quality of the replacement fights. White still won't get into the McGregor injury too much, but he isn't in disarray over losing out on the massive fight to end June. Here is what he said. It's the business, man. This is the way it goes. And from here on, I'm not gonna talk about it until when he's healed and he's right. Then we'll look at the landscape and see what we can figure out. Habib Nurmagomedov has been praised for both his fighting career as well as his coaching, but even he isn't perfect in all areas. Nurmagomedov has been in the corner of reigning UFC lightweight champion Islam Makhachev. It's no secret that Habib gets animated when cornering fighters, and UFC 302 was no exception. Nurmagomedov took issue with Makhachev for seemingly playing Dustin Poirier's game at times during their 155-pound title fight. Ultimately, Makachev won the bout via fifth round submission. American Kickboxing Academy head coach Javier Mendez admits he feels Khabib could use a bit more seasoning as a cornerman. During an interview, Javier Mendez said that the cornering of Khabib Nurmagomedov could use some work. Here is what he said, Khabib's actually becoming a great coach and a great cornerman, but he needs some work on the cornering. He's great at game planning, he's fantastic at game planning, but we need to work a little bit on the cornering, just a little bit. He needs to master the corner though. We still need to work the corner because he goes a little crazy on there, up and down, slamming on the table. I told him, calm down, calm down. He gets really amped up. Time will tell if Habib heeds the advice of Mendez or if he'll continue to wear his heart on his sleeve while his fighters are inside the octagon. Michael Venom Page is considering calling out Kamaru Usman if he can get through Ian Gary at UFC 303. At UFC 303 later this month, Michael Page will step into the octagon to battle Ian Gary. For many, the belief is that if Page can can get the job done, he could earn a shot at the UFC welterweight championship. One man who previously held that strap is Kamaru Usman. Of course, he's no longer the champ after being dethroned by Leon Edwards, but many believe he still has a lot to offer in the division as a whole. In a recent interview, Page revealed that he'd be interested in a showdown with Usman if he gets through Gary. Here is what he said. He's an Irish guy that's doing, he's doing really well. He's ranked seventh, which is my lucky number. So that's, that's another reason why I was like, Yep, I want that. And it propels me into the top five. So it's exactly where I wanna be. I don't wanna waste any time. Finish Ian, maybe ask for Usman. You know, get a big fight next. He's number one ranked. Like I said, there's no point wasting time. Let's jump up, let's go. Usman, if he's happy to go, we go. Get that win, and then there's no debate after that. It's like, no, I deserve the belt. Would you like to see this fight? Share your thoughts. Hamzat Chimaev gave his first reaction to his withdrawal from UFC on ABC6. Hamzat Chimaev was forced out of Saturday's headliner versus Robert Whitaker at Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia due to illness. Replacing him will be rising middleweight contender Ikram Aliskarov. Chimaev, who was hospitalized from the illness, broke his silence on social media. Here is what he said. We always plan something, but Allah has his own plans for us. Alhamdulillah. 
Despite the frustrating run for 30-year-old Chimaev, who's fought just once in the past two years, his manager Majdi Shamas denied any retirement rumors. Here is what he said. It's absolutely not true. We're planning on getting to the bottom of this situation. The problems. He will be back. Chimaev hasn't competed since a majority decision win over former champion Kamaru Usman this past October at UFC 294. His bout versus Whitaker was being dubbed as a number one contender before he was forced to withdraw. Michael Bisping thinks Conor McGregor may never return after pulling out of UFC 303. An undisclosed injury forced McGregor out of his return fight versus Michael Chandler June 29th at T-Mobile Arena, marking the first time McGregor has withdrawn from a fight in the UFC. The bout's expected to be rebooked later in the year. Bisping heard that McGregor re-injured the same leg he broke in his TKO loss to Dustin in July 2021, which has kept him sidelined for years. Here is what he said. I don't know why I was kind of optimistic that this fight was still going to go ahead. I should have known though. I was on a movie set last week and I was working with Big John McCarthy, a man that is an absolute authority on mixed martial arts. And he told me in no uncertain terms, this fight is not happening. He's injured, he's hurt himself. His leg, the leg that he broke that snapped against Dustin, his titanium skin bone has failed. That's what Big John said. I thought he was wrong, I thought he was mistaken. Bisping says history has shown that fighters do not come back the same after breaking their leg in that manner, pointing to Anderson Silva and Chris Weidman as examples. Here is what he said. The big question is, is that it? Will McGregor ever fight again? Now, of course, they're gonna move Michael Chandler versus Conor McGregor to another date down the line. He hurt himself this time. What's to say he won't hurt himself next time? What's to say that he'll ever be the same fighter again? Him competing against Dustin, when the leg snapped might just be the last time that Conor McGregor ever steps foot inside an octagon. Israel Adesanya wants his belt back. The two-time middleweight title holder announced Monday that he will fight champion Dreykus Duplessis at UFC 305, which takes place in Perth, Australia on August 17th. This is Adesanya's first fight since dropping the belt to Sean Strickland at UFC 293 in September 2023. In recent interviews, Duplessis has mentioned the possibility of fighting Adesanya at UFC 305. The two have been engaged in a heated feud for the better part of the past two years, with the rivals facing off with one another inside the octagon after Duplessis scored an important win over former champion Robert Whitaker at UFC 290 in July 2023. Duplessis acknowledged Adesanya's UFC 305 post in his Instagram stories, but no official announcement has been made for the bout by Duplessis' side nor the UFC. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Your dedication and support fuel our passion to bring you the latest and greatest in the MMA world. If you enjoyed today's news, please give us a thumbs up and share it with fellow MMA fans. Remember to subscribe to stay in the loop with daily MMA updates. We've got a lot of exciting news, interviews, and analysis coming your way every single day. Your engagement helps us grow and serve the MMA community even better. Once again, thank you for being an integral part of our daily MMA journey.